Do you hate being poor? Do you want to be rich? Like me. If so, head over to Messy Modding Store for all your gaming needs where you can get GTA 5 cash and rank, GTA 5 modded accounts, and many more. And if you have any doubts, look at all these happy customers. So, streaming GTA Online is something I like to dabble around with every now and then. Over the years, my streaming style has changed quite a bit. I mean, just look at this. So I'm still there playing GTA, but the audio's kind of messed up, you can't hear any game sounds, and the overlay kind of sucks. Now, while I think my stream has improved, I now have a microphone, and sometimes messed around with a hand cam, the same cannot be said for GTA Online. <laughs> Fuck! <laughs> So that was the usual experience of me trying to play GTA on PC and just getting crashed. Now GTA on PC is just known for its modders anyway, so that's completely to be expected. However, GTA Online has the option to have private sessions with only the people you allow to go in. So surely, if I don't invite modders, then I'm just going to have a great time. It's what used to be the case. So the Criminal Enterprises DLC has just came out. Usually people have to update their mod menus when there's a new update, so I thought I'd be fine. Yeah, hopefully uh, because the, the update came out yesterday. Uh, people haven't updated their mod menus yet, maybe? I'm not sure how long it takes for people to update mod menus, but... Oh boy, was I in for a shock. Zingerburger92. Hmm. Wonder how they got in my session. This is the start of the end, guys. Brilliant. I wanted to lock onto all those cops. Shit on. Oh yeah, activate CEO, fuck off. No. So I knew what this fight was going to end up. It's just going to be a boring CEO BST battle. And I just left. It's the first fight of the stream. I don't want to deal with this. However, just a few minutes later, people seem to be getting into my session. Oh, skill issue left. Lol. Bro, skill issue's back. You fucking modder. Oh, shit. Do I hear him? Oh, he crashed, what a bot. Oh shit, oh he left. Bruh. Just a few minutes later. Man, he's gone off radar. You can waste that off. <laughs> so I actually enabled passive at the perfect time to block this orbital cannon shot. Zora left, bro, this is cancer, man. This is actual cancer. Oh, now we're getting frozen. Okay, I guess modders are still in the game. No shit, Sherlock! But skill issue comes back and crashes jet again. Don't worry guys, I'll take him out. This means I can now fight him on ground. Oh, he doesn't have god mode, though. Oh, he does have something. This guy's the worst mod I've ever met. Oh no, oh no. Bro, I was about to leave the session, that's why I went to the pause menu. <laughs> Bro, it's, just, it's like he's got a, a script, as soon as he takes damage, he just blows up. Guys, I need a power of you versus throwing me. Oh my god, there's no way, guys. There's absolutely no way. So that was one mother taken care of on stream. And I can't lie, dealing with the rest of them got a little bit too much. The thing that really annoys me... Yeah. See, the thing that really annoys me is they do that. They, like, auto can you and stuff like that. But why do they never show their POV? Why do they ever make it into a YouTube video? It's almost as if they're using mods or something. 3-0, cry. Except in this case, sometimes they do show their POV. Oh. Now, after getting crashed, I decide to go into an invite-only session. Surely if I don't invite any modders, then modders won't harass me. I can't wait to- What? Bruh! What? <laughs> what? <laughs> what? Oh, hell no, man. What? what? I can't believe- <laughs> What? Why? How have I- What? Right guys, I thought if my own lobbies were safe, because the last time I played GTA, if my own lobbies were safe, but I guess they're not. Just just for the sake of science. 
Okay, um, it turns out Rockstar Games can't make a game properly. So yeah, we all knew modders sucked, whatever. Let's just play PS5 because there's no modders on console, right? And technically you'll be right, there are no modders. However, I god no glitch is a thing. But if you can't be bothered to do the god no glitch, you can still use the orbital can if you have enough money. Now you can instantly kill anyone on the map, and it's basically another power feature that modders had has now been monetized by a rockstar. But in the off chance that I do manage to find a nice fight to get into, I can be sure that within five minutes it'll be ruined by people in god mode, people spamming auto cannons, all that sort of stuff. And sure enough, I encountered my first god no player. Oh, why is this one has to be in god mode? Come on. Now, hypothetically, let's say Rockstar does manage to fix the god mode glitches that are plaguing this game. We still have the issues of the orbital cannon, and as long as people can see the names of other players in this session, they're just a frame request away from being able to join, so playing on PC on stream is now literally impossible, and the only way of playing console without getting harassed by cheaters is to either have an awful 15 minute delay, AND THEN WHAT?! somehow hide all the names in the session, or just play on your own in the only lobby. And it's not just me that thinks this, even Gilly Master has commented about it. This is the most amount of cheaters I have ever seen in GTA Online's entire life cycle. So yeah, Rockstar, please, I beg, make streaming on GTA somewhat viable like it used to be. Please.